looked at some stuff from Craigslist I had. The guy said he had some 66, 67 Fairlane parts. Was wanting to sell everything in a lot. Got this tote full of miscellaneous stuff. There's a, a factory uh, automatic shifter. It doesn't have the doesn't have the handle, but it works free. There's some rust on the handle, but a man could make something out of that if he really had to. There's two sets of parking lot lenses. Just a lot of miscellaneous things. There's like a gas pedal for a C4 car. Ignition switches, headlight switches, hood lights, ashtrays, just miscellaneous stuff there. There was the vents, just two doors, a passenger and a driver's. The driver one's a little rough. The passenger one, it's got this one little spot right here, but it's not rusted out anywhere. Uh, the only piece that I was in dire need of was the driver's, uh, the driver's door glass and the uh, door handle, and the so, and it's a it's a good window. Chrome has no pitting. Uh, the door handle is pretty good shape. There's a trunk lid here. It's got a lot of surface rust, a few dents. But it's it's actually a repairable trunk lid. And there's two front bumpers. He he had them listed as being two rear bumpers. And uh, even when we were looking at him there, he kept saying two rear, but I didn't even correct him. He was a very nice old gentleman, so I didn't even correct him. And I, I didn't give him very much for all this stuff. He just wanted rid of it. And so, like I said, I, for what I gave for it, the the door glass the local the a junkyard who has a door glass wanted to more for the door glass than I gave for all this stuff so this fender it's got you can see it's got some dents but it's really not rusted out it's a man could hammer and dolly it pretty well there's also a grill here for a 66 it's kind of pretty rough too, but the center bar there has got just a few small dents in. I have a, a 66 grill that's really pretty good except for that center bar which unbolts. Um, I can take that bar and tap out those little dents and take the two grills and make one decent one. These two instrument clusters are part of the stuff. They're neither one perfect by any means, but they're both they're both usable. So especially if you were going to put a had one that you're going to put a lighter model style or a new style radio in, and taking trim it out and then save the one that is good, but. This one's busted back into here, but here's another lens that somebody's hacked out around there. But you take it and trim trim that out with a ziz wheel, the masking tape over it, and then take your ziz wheel and cut through the masking tape. I've done it before and 
turned out pretty good without it cracking. So, but they, they were in it. So, and like I said, I, I, I got it all for what I would have had to pay for a door glass. Thank you. Here's that driver's door. Like I said, it's pretty much scrap. Except for what I needed is the door glass. Uh, I need the door glass for this car as it was parked. Some kids shot the driver's door glass out of it. This I hadn't showed this one, but it's a 67 two-door hard top. I have new quarters for it. I have most everything for it, but I did need that the door glass for it. I could have took it out of this other car over here, but I, I really have plans for it also. This is the other one. It's a 66 two-door hardtop. Both these cars were just factory 289, three-speed on the column cars, nothing special whatsoever. But it needs, it's going to have to have rocker repair. And that passenger door I'm going to use on this car because this one, is like a lot of them rusted out in the corners I mean that door is repairable man could put a lower skin on it but <clears throat> being I picked up that other door that's a really good door I'll just go ahead and use it for this <clears throat> my plans for this car is to actually build another drag car out of it 